What's up everyone? It's day 17 of phase two of the Live Heart program. It's currently 4.11 a.m. I just finished my second workout, did my 40 pound ruck. I went about two and a quarter mile. I woke up again this morning, man, I was tired. Uh, I'm still tired, but it was a little after midnight. S same thing with yesterday, I, was woke, I woke up tired because I wasn't able to fall asleep till probably about 8.30, so. It's only three and a half hours of sleep or so. Um, but I got up and got it done. And first thing I did whenever I woke up, like every day, I eat a little bit of salt, Celtic sea salt. I drank my first form aminos along with L-carnitine to help use your fat cells as energy. And then I took a scoop of creatine um, I have that mixed up right here in this with just uh, another scoop of the aminos because I just got done with that outdoor workout. Um, felt good outside right now. It's what, probably 73. Nice little breeze. It's nice uh, to get this done early and you, you not have to, you know, stress about it the rest of the day or do it at work or do it after work. Um, this place is, has a small gym, so even if I want to do my workout at the gym, it's just... I mean, there's enough room for maybe like three people to be in there at a time. And there's usually more, at least that many. But um, otherwise I feel fine. My back doesn't really hurt right now. I feel like it's because I've been following a good diet, not eating like a lot of carbs at all, not eating a lot of anything with chemicals and stuff like that that cause inflammation. And I've also been doing all this walking and, and stair stepper, which is what I did this morning whenever I woke up, 45 minutes on the stair stepper. I didn't really hit a weight workout today. I actually got done and tried to take a nap. I think I probably fell asleep for maybe 30 minutes between my first and second workout. But I've also been, I use this. I've had this for like over 10 years and kind of roll out on that a lot. It helps with my lower back. I roll from like my neck down to my lower back and then on my side of my leg, which is your IT band. And then like in the front of your hip right there, a lot of those areas can be tight and cause tension in your lower back. So you think your lower back's the issue, but it's something pulling on your muscle basically from somewhere else, like your hip or your um, IT band, which connects your hip, I think, to your knee. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad I've been feeling good like that. I feel uh, basically like I'm in cruise control on this day right now, so, I mean, Today was fine, other than waking up tired. I didn't have to like necessarily force myself to go do the second workout. Um, there were some days where I was just dreading it and I would actually have to just make myself get up. As soon as I started trying to justify why I could do it later, or maybe it's gonna be cooled off later, or maybe this, maybe that, I would, and just getting up and doing it, you start to basically adapt that as your mentality and you don't even have that second thought anymore. There's gonna be times, of course, always that that little voice because you you can convince yourself to do anything or not do anything also and it's just the way that your mind works you know how to sell yourself on whatever it is that you're trying to do or not do so you have to understand that that voice in your head plays a key role in everything that you're trying to achieve but um the main thing i want to talk about today was how uh the a few days ago i think whenever i started this schedule waking up at midnight going to sleep early doing my workouts in the middle of the night like this or in the middle of the morning um i started thinking like i was like cutting corner basically like i was avoiding having to do my outdoor workout in the middle of the day or after work and then i started thinking about it this is actually harder to you know sustain than to sleep in to do the workouts later I mean, it's hot as hot. It doesn't really, that doesn't really matter to me. I'll do it something in the middle of the day. I have to work outside. So that wasn't the issue. But whenever I thought about it, it was, this is hard. Waking up, who's going to wake up and get off work, try to go to sleep after working a 12-hour shift and get off at 6 and try to go to sleep by before 7 or 8 and then wake up at midnight? That's unheard of. So I was basically kind of a... Uh, like I said, feeling like I was cheat, like doing, taking the easy route. And this, now I realize this is definitely a hard route. And then I also realized that that's a lot of the time that what we do is we, um, 
we'll look and see that we have so far to go, but we won't look back and see how far we've came. And most of us, and probably everybody, has started somewhere, whether you're not where you want to be right now and you need to start doing something and you're like, you have fallen off and you need to get started on something, you've came from somewhere and you've overcame all the things that you've made it through so far. So you have to give yourself credit sometimes. And whenever you have that voice trying to tell you that maybe you're not doing enough or you're not, um, maybe not, you're going to be having that voice that's telling you you're not doing enough, but the voice that's saying maybe you're, um, like I was doing, taking the easy route. And uh, and obviously it's not, now that I think about it, and that can be in, uh, used in any area. You can be doing a good job with your kids and, and maybe always think that there's more you could do or with your relationship or with your business. And there probably is a lot you can still do extra, but you have to still understand that you've been doing what what got you to where you are now and that could be good or that could be bad. So um, obviously if it's bad, don't be giving yourself credit for getting there, but you have to recognize it, that way you can fix it. So that's all I got, it's 4.17. I gotta take a shower, get my breakfast, eggs and grits is what I've been having every day. This um, place I'm staying at has a cafeteria, so eggs and grits. I already had a Formula One first form root beer float shake after my first workout and an orange. And then uh, I need to take these vitamins. If you guys have not checked out First Form Micro Factor, this thing's loaded with everything you need for your day, every day. You can literally feel the difference with your energy, um, just all around better wellness wise. It's gonna keep you healthy. It's gonna keep you from getting sick, not keep you from getting sick, but it's gonna help you stop getting sick in some cases. Um, but it's just stuff you everything you need. I don't have the box with me right now But there's like a vitamin D. There's a fish oil. There's a multivitamin. There's a red fruit and veggie extract. There's like a I think there's like a CLA pill or something like that I don't remember. I have the box at home, but check it out micro factor They have powder you can mix up in water or the packets. I just get the packets and You can leave, use my link. I'll put it in the description first form dot com slash hibs 940 that's the way you can help support me i don't really ask for uh to try to coach you or do anything i'll try to get some kind of good advice or something that most people can relate to and so we can correct the culture in this world but anyways i'll be back tomorrow for day 18 peace